The rigid air skate dock is used for loading containers where there is no tracks installed in the floor. After opening the container, we install reflectors in the twist lock apertures. These are used for sensing when the container is level with the dock. You should also inspect the inside of the container to make sure there's no obstructions. The trailer backs into the dock and is aligned using wheel guides or yellow line on the floor or a centering device. It's essential the trailer is perpendicular to the dock. Once in position, the trailer is raised to the dock height using a hydraulic leveller. The load on the dock is inspected to make sure there's nothing protruding and then the skates are inflated to lift the pallet off the conveyor on the dock or the dunnage. We use dunnage because there are no gaps in the bottom of the pallets and the dunnage is carried into the container with the tines and left in the container and utilized for unloading at the other end. The load is powered into the container at the rate of 20 meters per minute. So about three quarters of a minute for the complete load to be inserted. At any stage the operator can lift his hand off the control and stop the load. The selection of container size is made by using a particular switch on the panel. So it could be 20 foot, 40 foot or 48 foot. Once loaded, the skates are deflated and withdrawn from under the pallets. As mentioned before, the dunnage stays behind to support the pallets. In our particular case, the dunnage is recycled and we are using a fiberboard composite. If we choose to use the dock to unload the trailer, all the same principles are used, but in reverse. The skate is deflated insert it under the pallets again the stroke is determined by the operator from the control panel when the skates are fully inserted they are inflated the inflation time can be two to three minutes depending on the load. There's approximately 16 tons of product in this particular situation. You can see we have lifted the pallets clear of the dunnage. The dunnage stays behind as we withdraw the pallets. All the trials were satisfactory, 
So now we take the product and install it on the customer's premises. You can see the dunnage, the fiber board. The pallets are loaded onto the dock by forklift. In the future, this will be carried out using twin chain conveyors between the skates on the dock. Once the dock is fully loaded, the trailer with the container on board will back into the dock. We will level it. We will inspect the pallets to make sure there's nothing protruding. There are indicated lights the driver can see showing when he has reached his docking position. The load is inserted. On this particular site we're averaging seven container loads per day with a goal to reach 20 container loads per day. And there's no limitation in terms of the dock and when it has an automatic feed the process will be very efficient. You can see the skates are being withdrawn. The load has been successfully inserted into the container. The trailer will pull out, close the doors and deliver the container to the wharf or to the rail. Beside the skate dock are uh, conventional chain floor docks that are used to load shuttle trailers. The shuttle trailers have a matching chain floor system. They back in, the load is inserted and the trailer pulls out and delivers the goods to the local bottling company. About 20 trailer loads per day go out from this site.